Alrighty, here it's me guys, Gavin here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about nosebleed. Um, the album we're looking at today is scratching circles on the dance floor. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. Alrighty, so the first one I want is uh, my first impressions. Um, my first impression stemmed from, uh, well, just recently I listened to the album and stuff. But uh, I really liked the album, I thought it was really good, uh, had a lot of energy, and um, it was really interesting because like it was, I was trying to try to like put together what exactly the uh, genre was, like I've heard this type of genre before but it was, uh, I guess I never really like, s like slept on it or anything or like uh, you know, kind of, I guess, put the words or, like, you know, uh, figure out what sound it was. Um, it, I mean, it was kind of like a country punkish type of thing, but yeah, I'll talk more about band similarities later on in the video, but yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm talking about are the lyrics. Um, couldn't really find any lyrics to pull up necessarily, but. Um, I guess just to speak about it, uh, the lyrics for this album, they were like, um, they were more like phrases, um, it wasn't like in-depth lyrics or anything, or like, uh, just, it was more like one-liners and stuff, and like, uh, yeah, just a, just a lot of uh, phrases and things, and um, which is really good for like um, it's good for like when you have like a message to get across, or like you're really trying to uh, I guess influence people, or um, maybe you know you have uh, just kind of like this. Uh, I guess words to live by or something um, it's good for that and it kind of sets up like this hypnotic trancey type of uh, like effect on the audience who listens to it um, typically it's a it's not always used for that um, it's just being that it's such a it's so catchy in nature when you do that you know, it's very repetitive and stuff. It, it can be uh, good for for set things and stuff. Alrighty, so the next to talk about are the band similarities. These are bands that I think that if you listen to these bands or, you know, really like these bands or, you know, something along the lines of that, you'll probably really like this band or album. So, yeah. Um, the first band on the list is Reverend Horton Heat. Uh, I think if you really like Reverend Horton Heat and that, like, uh, I guess, I don't know, country, rockish sound um, that you'll really like Nosebleed and this album, I think Nosebleed has like a, a noise rock with like a Texas twang type of vibe going uh, that I think Reverend Horton Heat also emulates really uh, similarly to. Um, but yeah. Uh, and the next band is Dead Kennedys. Um, I think if you would like Dead Kennedys, uh, that you would like this band and album. Uh, Dead Kennedys had also that like, you know, country noise, rocky vibe to it. It was like punk, but like, like a Texas accent type of thing that, uh, you know, is very similar to this album in, in a lot of ways. And the last band uh, is Butthole Surfers. Uh, I, I mentioned them because just they're really catchy and they have that like catchy, punky, uh, surf rock vibe that kind of uh, that this album does a really good job at. Alrighty, so the next thing I'm talking about is my favorite song. Um, my favorite song off of this album is probably going to be Time and Time Again. Uh, I like that 
I probably liked it the most out of uh, most of the songs. Um, uh, I think it was like either their most played or second most played, but uh, it was really catchy and it. See, and I guess it related to the lyrics because like uh, time and time again, like. A lot of time I feel like stuck or like, you know, the same things are kind of happening over and over. And you know, there's just like, uh, there's like this feeling of complacency. And um, so yeah, I guess that's why I uh, identified with this song the most. Alrighty, so the last thing I'm talking about are the singing and screaming styles. Um, I guess as far as singing and screaming goes, I mean, there's a little bit of yelling, um, but it's not like full on screamo or anything. And then like the singing is, you know, it's relatively good. Uh, I think, you know, it's just like, not really country. It's not country like singing or nothing. It's not like a ballad. But it's just like, uh, it's like fast paced type of singing. Uh, it's something you'd find in like uh, punk music or um, I guess maybe like, kind of like Elvis, Elvis Presley a little bit in that sense, but like just like the accent type of singing. It's not really, it doesn't sound like Elvis Presley. It just kind of has like that. I don't know, old rock and roll type of uh, vocal sound to it, a little bit, but just like a little bit, not like full on. Alright, you guys, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any other suggestions for movies, music, games of life, leave in the comment section. I'll be sure to check them out. And while you're at it, uh, go ahead and tell me what you, band or artist you think deserves more exposure right now anyway. um, and to rate this album I'll probably give it like a three it was a solid album uh, good amount of tracks uh, everything's on point is very well produced and um, yeah I look forward to hearing more from those loop and that's pretty much it uh, don't forget to subscribe peace